Ah, uh, man, enough is enough. Why? What? Here we go again, man. Here we go again. So now, and I seen this yesterday, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who thinks this? And I'd all do respect. And I put a disclaimer out there as a, as a New Yorker. Biggie is my favorite New York MC rapper out of everybody. Jay, Banks, Nas, uh, whoever you want to throw out there. Um, don't get it twisted. I can recite Biggie lyrics verbatim. But enough is enough. So now they're going to do... Now, Biggie had just gotten to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And his mother even said, sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming how they just constantly keep throwing all of this stuff in her face. And A&E did a documentary about two years ago where they went back to St. James and Fulton. And that was kind of interesting. You know, Faith and some of the family members. But I've lost count. How many damn documentaries are they going to do about Biggie? And Pac also. Remember, USA Network did that terrible uh, The Biggie and Tupac Untold Stories TV show. That flopped. That was horrible. They just got some regular random fat dude to play Biggie, and they slapped some fake thick eyebrows on some random cat to play Pac. It was no thought. You know. Now, both of them, respectively, have had their biopics, whether you liked it or not, notorious. And then Tupac had his, which I refused to watch because they had two 50-year-old white guys write the script and the, I just know in no other <clears throat> real world would they allow uh, two black guys to write the script for, let's say, Elton John or, you know, one of their heroes. But yet we got stuck with that. Benny Boom did what he could, but I just refused to watch it. Um, so now Netflix is claiming they're honoring Biggie, you know, for the month of March. He died March, March 8th. Why do we honor the day Biggie died? Or why do we honor Biggie on the day he died and not the day he was born, May 21st? We just stuck on this March 8th shit or March 9th, whatever. We stuck on March 9th. Um, so they already put the trailer out. And, of course, it's executive produced by Sean Diddy Combs. This nigga been hustling Biggie for, what, almost 25 years. Made more profit off Big than any artist when he had Bad Boy jumping. He can't get Bad Boy on fire no more. The, the label's dead. So now Puffy just wants to keep milking this Biggie shit. And Biggie clearly has been Puffy's main cash cow as far as music. And he just keeps milking the cow. It's like, bro, let it go. You know, it's, it's, it's too many other great rappers that are living, that are breathing. For us to just be still stuck on Big and Pac. You know what I mean? Look at the bad boy roster. You could have did something on Mace, all jokes aside. You could have did a doc on the locks. I'd love to watch a documentary on the locks. Where's they, where to give them they flowers? You got, uh, I was watching the Wu-Tang of Mike's and Men last week. It came out about a year ago. I enjoyed it. It was great because we had never seen the Wu documentary before. To be honest, I didn't remember seeing one. I know Def Jam did the show back in the day, but that was it. You know, there's too many other, you know, LL. LL reinvented himself over the last 20-something years. A whole generation, they know him for being an actor. There's nothing wrong with that. But LL's a living, breathing legend. Where's his doc? You know, Rakim just did a joint, I think, with, with, you know, with Nas or whatever. You know, Illmatic, Nas, that Showtime gave him a doc, but I could, I could go for another one. Jay-Z, for all the shit we talk about, Hove, where's Hove's documentary or anything? Maybe he's waiting for the right time. It's too many living, breathing legends. Buster Rhymes, he was on Drink Champs. Where's his doc? You know, shout out Michael Rappaport did the Tribe Called Quest. Nobody else did it. Say whatever you want, but at least he did something. He honored somebody. He gave somebody different. Come on. How are you educating the youth that wasn't around if all y'all going to do is just be stuck on Big and Pac? If I didn't know any better and I was a kid born in the year 2000, I would think 90s hip hop just consisted of Biggie and Tupac because that's all they want to fucking talk about. And you want to just continue to drag Biggie's story and what Biggie did for five years was phenomenal. You know, two classic albums, uh, basically wrote Junior Mafia's album, Conspiracy, wrote Little Kim's first record, basically. What he did, you know, helped write back uh, No Way Out for Puffy, him and Mace. It was great. But it's too much other stuff for y'all to just be stuck on the sand. I'm, I'm tired of them milking this shit out all the time. All the fucking time. It's always Puffy milking the same shit. And there's way too many other artists out here. Even that Puffy has uh, had, you know, prior business with that they could do 
and they just they still they still like how are you supposed to educate people i mean what am i gonna learn from this that i didn't see in the last six or seven biggie documentaries including the movie so you mean y'all been holding back on information all this time because the way that they try to get you and sell you to this is they say um the documentary will feature never before seen footage filmed by his best friend d rock now d rock was with junior mafia what never before seen footage have we have we not seen? I've seen footage I've seen footage of Biggie standing in front of the apartment complex rolling a blunt talking to his moms. I've seen all of the footage I can see. I mean what what more can you show us? Come on. Uh, it's it, outcast, bro. Think outcast. I, as much as people throw Andre as they top 5, fuck it, do an outcast documentary. I'd watch it. For what they did for putting Atlanta on the map, I'd watch it. Scarface, Rap A Lot Records. I could go on and on, bro. It's just too many, too many people have contributed to hip hop culture for them to just be stuck on the same old shit. Over and over. And as long as people keep eating it up, they're they gonna continue to keep putting it out there. You know? I guess. So uh let me know what y'all think, man. Am I just tripping? Maybe I'm just uh on some 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 rah rah whatever, but there's just way too many people that have never gotten acknowledged, and I'm like, how are y'all supposed to be teaching the youth when y'all stay stuck on the same two cats? And Big and Pac were revered. Like I say, I I, I was a kid when that happened, but you remember certain stuff just sticks with you. You remember it, and it was you know I get it, but come on, bro, a lot of people. Uh, have contributed to this culture, man. Y'all don't give them no acknowledgement because y'all just want to be stuck in the past. And Puffy just trying to make a Puff. To me, this is like a cheap buck from Puff. Puff's just trying to make a cheap paycheck. That's what this is. You know, it's easy to do a documentary. It's almost lazy in a sense to do a doc on Puff. I mean, a doc on Big. It's lazy. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's lazy. Do the research and 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 put somebody else on that you know, also impacted the culture. You know, hip hop don't just come down to two two artists. And I, my dad used to tell me that and I used to think, man, whatever. You know, so it's more artists out here than just Biggie and a couple of other cats. And then I opened my mind and I realized, okay, he was telling the truth. You know what I mean? But damn, that's just me, man. If y'all gonna check it out, let me know in the comment section or if y'all think I'm uh tripping or if I'm hating, whatever. Y'all say what y'all wanna say, man. I'm out. Hit that thumbs up button also. And the cash app. And follow my Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'm out.